Hello, everybody. It's time for your favorite part of the evening, or well, I guess it is the evening now since it's so late, but uh, it's Saturday night, and um, I'm going to do a video, even though, you know, Saturday night, come on, in the summertime, it's some prime real estate. So that's how much we care about you and care to enlighten you on the fantastic uh, goodness of records and or vinyl and or music. So uh, first off, thanks to everyone for subscribing, comments. Uh, it's nice to wake up in the morning and my inbox is just flooded with uh, good stuff. I promise I will comment back to you. I'll probably do that after I finish this video. So uh, I'm going to talk about two records real quick. This is uh, Sam the Sham, my wife, I'm compadre. Not a, I'm not a record. No, she's not a record. My <laughs> my better half. Um, say hello to YouTube, Sam. Hello to YouTube, Sam. So first video official with the vinyl community, so we'll probably Hi. be doing some tag team goodness for you about records. So. Rather than listening to me ramble on about, you know, whatever. So, uh, the first record I'd like to talk about, we're just, it was actually from the Vinyl Finds yesterday. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit in depth about it because it was pretty rapid fire. We did uh, 10 records in 10 minutes. So, uh, I'll probably take a couple minutes to talk about this. This is um, Bengali Balls at Pig Pink, which, uh, did I just say Pig Bink? You said. <laughs> I think you said Pig Pink. Did I say Pig Pink Floyd? Or Big Bink? Big Bink. Bengali Balls at Big Pink. That's a fast, you say it five times fast. Anyhow. Uh, <laughs> so it's a really cool album. Of course, I mentioned yesterday, produced by the band uh, at Big Pink, that Big Pink that you're thinking about. And um, the really cool thing that I read, uh, I, I found a link on the band's website. So if you've ever... You know the band up on Cripple Creek. I don't need to tell you any about who they are. I'm sure you know who they are, but uh, they have a great website that's sort of uh, it's sort of like a band family tree, just about all these artists that are kind of um, you know that were there during the times that they've played with, etc. Played on their albums, all that good stuff. The cool thing about this is if you have John Wesley Harding by Bob Dylan, of course, you know that was. Uh, you know his his album you know kind of the after the crash sort of thing but um it's the cover it's it, there's been a lot of debate over the years oh it was so and so's gardener well guess what it was the band uh for uh bengali ball so this i believe is the the lead dude of sorts but they're actually on the cover with bob dylan so if you ever wondered who those are who those guys are right here so uh, it's a great album. Like I said, kind of the you know the the Indian sort of uh, um, sound to it. Uh, I appreciate everybody's comments. It definitely had a little bit of interest out of the out of all the ones that were uh, featured yesterday. So I'm um, excited about it. I'll kind of let you know a little bit more about it as we go along. And uh, it's definitely a good album. It seems a little lo-fi. It's um, definitely the the recording quality of it is not you know it's not top notch but it sounds it's it's pretty cool it's a good sound so uh what you would kind of expect if you just stumbled upon people jamming in the bottom of a house on uh you know just with uh you know a basic tape recorder and all that so it's really it's really cool sounding so apparently it was in with a lot of the archives took for a long time for it to re be released i think it was it was recorded i want to say either in 60 about 67 or so um, but these guys played at the Fillmore with, you know, the Butterfield Blues Band, also with the Birds um, when they first came to America, and we're just kind of hanging out in Woodstock, and, uh, you know, and so you have it. So, uh, you, would you like to do an album now? Sure. Um, the album I chose to talk about today is The Pentangle, Solomon Seal, and really every album by The Pentangle is pretty awesome. This is the first one that um, I had ever heard. It's very traditional folk for the most part, although there are a lot of folky jams happening. I think Mark's mentioned that he likes the folk music sometimes, but I'm the real folk nut in the house. The mother folker of sorts. Of sorts. Um, it's very great. It's wonderful, beautiful cover art. That is a good one. I like yeah, it. I, really drew me in there. Um, we actually had the opportunity to meet Bert Yanch of the Pentangle earlier this year. Uh, there was a very intimate concert uh, at a church in Pittsburgh, and we met him and got his aut autograph and... Actually signed with the 
with the pentacle logo on it or the pentagram and uh that was good it was we met him and i didn't really think it was going to happen and we definitely we have we have footage of it i don't know maybe I'll, I'll put some of it up or um i don't know maybe we'll do like a pentangle sort of thing and you Let's can you can yeah that'd be good for another video so what's your uh, what's your favorite track off of that oh gosh i i just kind of listen to it flip it over listen to it flip it over listen to it flip it over so um they're all great honestly i can't pick I would say, for me personally, it's Sally Free and Easy, which I think is good. You know, you first drop that needle down, you know, it's a, mm -hmm. I think that's a good one. That so, good one. Uh, definitely a great, a great group. Um, almost kind of like a super group, I guess, kind of like a, a, a folk super group with John Redburn, who uh, we even have some of his mm -hmm. albums. He's uh, definitely a good guitar player. You know, he's, he's more the soloist. Um, but even like Bert, man, it was that was a great concert. It was really good. Um, Danny Thompson, fantastic bass player. Um, just uh, strolling down the highway. That's a great Bert Yonge mm -hmm. song. Um, man, I can't just. There's so many good songs. They're they're a very good band. Um, so if you ever see Pentagle, never really listened before, pick it up. It's it's really good. It's sort of like it's like Fairport Conventions, like artier brother, I mm -hmm. would say, and and and. Uh, of course, Bert Yonch has a very reedy voice, so his singing style is very, um, it almost seems very, I don't know, it's, it's hard to say. I, I would say it sounds like a, a very traditional voice, um, but yet he stands out on his on his own, mm -hmm. so it's really, his accent is sort of thick when he sings, so it's a very, yeah. it's a very interesting sound. I think it's their, they're one of the, um, I wouldn't say they were passed over because they're definitely one of the top bands, you know, Fairport Convention and them, I, I would say, are pretty much you know, of the the crowned, uh, the creme de la creme of the uh, of the of the folk genre, but definitely quite a few albums, quite a few uh, good things. So, uh, do you want to do you want to give them a? I think this one is a. You know, you got oh, to oh, show it. Oh, you, okay. You got to. Um, what was? One? It's uh, a it's a W, L P as which they is, say. Uh, short, white label promo. Short, is short that for that? white label promo. Okay. All right. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, that was uh, that was a great score. Five bucks for that one years ago. I've had I've had that album forever. This of course was was five dollars as well. So um, you know it's just amazing sometimes what you can find out there for very few dollars. So uh, keep listening to the good stuff, and uh, we'll do a video again tomorrow. Of course, I'm gonna try to keep it a daily video. You guys have given me some motivation. I have a purpose in this world of giving you, you know. <laughs> he talks about it a lot. He's really excited. That's yeah, it's, <laughs> it's you know I'm I'm glad that you know I have something to share out there with people and maybe turn you guys on to some new music. Um, definitely a lot of the the channels already that I've I've subscribed. I'm not gonna kind of get into the thing of giving shout outs. You know who you are. You know those who sent me messages. You know thank you for <laughs> your for your insight and uh, you know it definitely is uh, something I think that'll keep me going. I think that's kind of one of the hardest parts about. Um, you know, doing something every day is to have a reason to do it, but you guys are that reason, even though that, that number is very, very small. But um, it's, uh, I don't know, I love doing it. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and uh, so long.